So I was asked to balance this equation here. We have zinc plus nitric acid. We end up with zinc nitrate, this nitrogen dioxide here, and water. Typically when you do this reaction, you're going to get zinc nitrate and hydrogen gas. But under certain conditions, this can't happen. So we're going to try to balance this equation. I started out, I counted all the atoms up carefully, and then I thought, well, I'll put a three here because that solves most everything. That gives me three nitrogens, nine oxygens, zinc is just one still, but right here, this is a problem. Three hydrogens and two hydrogens. This does not work. So I'm going to forget about that and let's try another way. So let's get rid of the three here. And why don't we, if we were to put a two, right here, that would fix the hydrogens. That's probably a good start. So one times two, that would give me two hydrogens, but I'd also have two nitrogens and then two times the three there. That'll give me six oxygens. I know this won't work because I have two nitrogens here and three here. So the two is not gonna be big enough, but it does point me in the right direction because that does fix the hydrogens. At this point, since I know I need more nitrogens, let's just double that. Instead of two, let's make it four. So that might help us out. So need to update these numbers here. So we have our one hydrogen times four there. So we have four hydrogens and I can come over here and fix that easily. So I know I can fix that one times four, four nitrogens and three times four, that's 12 oxygens. Let's fix the hydrogens. We'll just put a two here because two times two, that equals four. And then for the oxygens, we have two times three is six plus two is eight plus two is 10. So now we have 10 oxygens. For the nitrogens, if I put a two right here, let's count those up again. Two times one is two, and then we have two times one is two there. So we have four nitrogens. Those are balanced. Let's add our oxygens up. Two times three is six. Two times two is four. Six plus four, that's 10, plus our two times one. 10 plus two is 12. and this equation, it's balanced. So that was my approach to this. You could balance this as a redox reaction. That would also work. Link in the description on, on how to do that. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.